Good afternoon and welcome to the Phillips Lighting Distributor webinar for May. I am Jessica Ridgeway Barnes, a member of the marketing team here at Phillips, and I'll be hosting today's webinar. This webinar is our opportunity to get in front of you, our customers, and bring you information on new product releases, any new relevant marketing material. I will give an update on our Lighting Application Center today, and then I'll also talk about a nice, exciting program that we have going on. We do have a few topics to cover today. We will start with Julie McGonnell giving us an update on two Hadco products. Then Dana or Chris Dolan will actually give us an update on the Daybright Linear Suspended LBX. Then we'll wrap up with the LED Vintage Style Lamps, which is something new and really exciting. And then, like I said, I'll give an update on a program and then our Lighting Application Center. You have all been muted, but we do encourage questions. So if you have questions at any time during this webinar, please go to your control panel, just type in whatever question it is, and then we will address your questions at the end of each individual presentation. If for some reason we're unable to answer it right on the spot, then we will get back to you. I'll have a log of your email address after you registered, and we'll follow up with you individually. This webinar is being recorded, and a copy of it will be sent to you in the next couple of days. You will get an email from us just thanking you for your attendance, and there will be a link. You can follow that link and go view this webinar recording exactly like you're seeing it right now, where all the questions and everything will be captured. Feel free to share it with any of your colleagues who may have not been able to join us today. Um, or you can just watch it, and you can fast forward or rewind or go to whatever segments you might want to review more closely. So with that, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Julie, who will get started with our Hadco Flexscape. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Good afternoon. As Jessica said, my name is Julie McGonnell, um, and I am, um, for Phillips, the product marketing and product manager for the Hadco, uh, Guardco, um, Phillips uh, landscape and residential portfolio. So when we think about, um, when we think about landscape lighting, um, we have a couple different segments that we play in, and we try and keep all of our customers happy, both the specifier type and the distributor type. Knowing that they both have very different challenges, um, while a specifier is working with a general plan or concept, really trying to make sure that they find fixtures that meet specific criteria at a proper cost. We also have a distributor who needs to satisfy a contractor um, who has a specific specific plan or general idea, but they're very um, in tune to their inventory dollars and making sure that the inventory dollars are low and turns are high. So today we have many choices in the market, um, all offering something slightly different, claiming to have an edge in the highest lumens, the most efficient, uh, many different finished options, optical performance, but they're all specific to one line item or one SKU. Today, what I have to offer for you is the Philips Hadco Flexscape line voltage. Uh, we took the technology that was built into the low voltage BL9 and IL9 that many of you know all about, um, and we developed it into a, a larger family of products that is now the Flexscape line voltage. What this gives you is many optic options as well as many lumen outputs in one package. So 15 fixtures in one. Uh, and a line voltage commercial grade package for both an accent and an in-ground. So how does the Flexscape work? In each package, let's take the accent for example, there are five different lumen levels that are able to be switched by an internal switch, ranging from 1,000 lumens up through the 3,500 lumens. There are also three different optical options, narrow flood, medium flood, and wide flood. Along with this, you still have your, uh, the, the product quality that you've known to, to love from Hadco and the die cast aluminum products, uh, uh, stainless, or the stainless steel screws, and the 100% silicone gasket. Along with the accents, there is an in-ground in this family. The in-ground has the same, similar functionality of all the internal components, but we also kept the specification qualities in mind that the SL series within our portfolio has been come to know as an industry leader. Inside of this product, you'll find that there are, again, the optical switch and the, the lumen switch and the optical output. It also is, has, comes equipped with 0 to 10 volt dimming driver uh, that is field replaceable if there's ever to be any trouble. 
a couple more specifications on these products. Like I mentioned before, uh, 1,000 1, to 3,500 lumens. When we look at the wattage that's consumed in this product, it maxes out at 34 watts. At the lowest range, it consumes about 9.5 watts. Like I mentioned earlier, 122 through 277 volts, also um, auto-recognizing driver, three optical choices. So the only decision you have to make or your customer has to make is what finish they would like the fixture in, as well as what color temperature. Do they want 3,000 Kelvin or 4,000 Kelvin? Inside of each fixture is built-in 0 to 10 volt dimming driver. Um, vandal resistant switch, is, which means that the switch is actually directly underneath of the underneath of the glass, so it can't be tampered with in the field. The accent is IP66 rated, and the in-ground is IP67 rated. We also have some installation tools or accessories that can be used with each of these fixtures to allow for a complete install. With the accent, we have our, X, our S3 mounting stake as well as our junction boxes, our, our cast iron junction boxes. For the in-ground, you have a couple different options. You can mount it directly into soil. Um, it can be mounted uh, soil and concrete using the, the concrete base as well as a trim ring. Um, or you can opt to get the grout mask as well as the trim ring to allow for easy removal uh, in concrete once it's placed. So some, some good information about uh, how long it takes to get the product once it's ordered. Uh, the B9 Accent is a product that we keep on our shelf in Carrollton, Texas. It is available and ready to ship within your quick ship lead time of 48 hours. The only part of it that is special order is if the customer decides they would like the SP1 surge protection. For the in-ground, the SL43 series holds a four-week lead time and it's filled out of our little town facility. Um, again, both of those are, are great products um, with, with very efficient lead times, and we're ready, ready to support your, your needs. Some tools that we have for the market to use um, are the specification sheets, brochures, uh, product bulletins. All of them are printed um, and ready for, for ordering and delivery. We also have a landing page that has all of the, all of the information nice in one, in one location. It also has on the landing page, since this is part of a larger family, it has the low voltage flex gate. So the line voltage flex gate and the low voltage are all can be found at www.phillips.com forward slash flex gate. So two different types of products I'm talking about today. First of all, I guess Jessica, were there any questions on that? No ma'am, no questions. Okay, perfect, so then we'll move on. Um, the product that I just spoke about is more commercial oriented. Uh, we do think about a 120 volt more on a, a line voltage commercial scale. When we think about low voltage, we think about it in a residential application. So the, the product I'm going to explain next is more of a residential application it's called the Zonescape. The Zonescape is actually a product that is a controlled device. Um, it allows a homeowner so think of yourself as a homeowner. Most of us have a home, we've been to a home, we all use our property very different. Each day, depending on the day, it could be a work day, a summer night, or a winter weekend, every day it's used slightly different. Wouldn't it be nice if we could control it from our phone or our tablet, our lighting, so that it could be used just as we use our property, slightly different every day? With the Zonescape, it gives us just that. The Zonescape gives us the opportunity to control a 300 or 600 watt of power transformer from an app. It gives us um, up to eight independent zones that can be used to control your lighting to turn it on or off. Uh, it can come on and off at different times of the day, dependent upon the week, uh, dependent upon the time of day, or dependent upon the zone or portion of your property. The difference between this product and some other products out there on the market is this can be used on any new job or existing job. It doesn't matter if you're using a Philips product um, or if
triggered. All may but want to be used slightly different. Uh, what the zone case gives you the ability to do is manipulate each one individually, turning them on or off as you see fit um, and at different times. And if they need to be overridden at any time, um, through an app device, Android or iPhone, uh, they, can be, they can be overridden and turned on or off. The zone case does hold an ETL listing and has a five-year warranty. The other nice thing about the zone case is it holds its own Wi-Fi signal. So you don't need to depend on a home's Wi-Fi signal. You don't need to depend on Bluetooth. Um, it has its own Wi-Fi um, chip built into the Zonescape. This product is actually one that we will have ready to ship um, in June. Uh, we did do a bit of a pre-launch uh, on this on this product. And at this point, if there's any interest, what I'm what I'm doing is I'd like to make sure that where the interest lies, that I make sure that uh, you um, and and your customers get one in your hand so that you can take a look at this product, uh, use it, demo it. Um, we, we've found that just like with the Flexscape, it all holds great features and benefits, but once it's actually used and put into the market and we get into the hands of our contractors and our actual users, uh, where the benefit lies, that's when we found uh, great success. This product is one FKU, and once it is available in the middle, or in the middle of June, it will be a uh, quick ship product, so it will ship within 48 hours. The specification sheets are online. Uh, brochures are online. Everything is available um, so that we can start uh, showing this product and explaining uh, the, the great features and benefits. So Jessica, that's all I have. Um, here, like Jessica said, here's my information. Anything landscape related, please feel free to reach out, whether it be for these products or any questions you have about existing uh, products in our portfolio. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Julie. I appreciate it. There were no questions that came in, uh, which means you did a great job, so wonderful. If you have any questions, like Julie said, reach out to her on the email address below, and she will get back to you individually with the answer. Now, one of our product managers is having uh, an issue with his audio, so give me one second. All right, I apologize for that audience. We've got a, got a little audio issue going on. So I'm going to cover this for Chris and Dana. This is the, the Philips Daybright Philips CFI Linear Suspended LBX. Uh, this is a new product that we just launched in April, and it has a lot of different configurations that we're going to talk about. So the main thing is why LBX for versatility, performance, and style. And that is what you will read about and learn about in all of the literature. I will get to that in just a minute and, and touch on all of the marketing collateral that is available to support this product. When compared to the flux stream, the LBX has higher efficacy, higher output, higher ambient temperature, and uplight is available. I'm going to touch on a couple of these key features. I don't feel like we have to go through every one of them um, because, again, this will be in the literature. But the main thing that we are trying to educate people on since we just launched this product is there are five configurations. It is a small profile. The base unit is three and a half by five and a half inches, so you can only imagine. Uh, four feet and eight feet units. They mount in continuous rows. You can do a chain cable or a pendant mount, which allows for easy installation to fit whatever your application may call for. And then the five optical distributions that are available. Now, I see that Chris just joined us. So, Chris, if you want to pick up here. You're doing a great job, Jessica. I'm tempted just to let you you run with it. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you're doing great. The LBX family is all about versatility. And so for for you guys, uh, if you, here's a snapshot view of the family. Five different profiles all share the same uh, backbone, the same, the same housing. And I'll talk about each one of these five uh, on the next two slides. So the base unit you know, we call the foundation. That's uh, it's no lens, no optics, just a, a simple industrial. You, you would use this for those back at house spaces uh, where efficacy is really important, um, or perhaps you need a higher ambient temperature, up to 150 lumens per watt. So uh, very high efficacy. The um, the next one we were calling brightness control. That's that was with a field a field installed 
accessory louver that uh, you would use just to either for an aesthetic purpose or just to cut down on some of the brightness. Also pretty high efficacy, up over 140. Go ahead, Mike. The high performance is that base unit, the foundation unit, but with uh, optics. We have a, a unique optical plate that sits over the, the LEDs, and it's a one optic per diode, which allows for really great control. We have five different choices of, of distribution, the narrow, medium, the wide, aisle, and double-A symmetric. And I think two that are worth noting would be the, the wide. This is uh, great for being able to space those uh, LBX luminaires further apart. You can, you can do so and still maintain uniformity um, where you need it. And then the other uh, optic is the double-A symmetric. If you've got a retail application where you're trying to get the right amount of light on the shelf, top to bottom, that uh, double asymmetric optic provides nice vertical uniformity. Uh, I should mention, though, um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit on the next slides about the diffuse lenses. The, if you use these optics and then also uh, go with the, the lens version, the effect of the optics will be negated. So we wouldn't recommend that. Next. So here are the two lens options. This is uh, the base unit, the foundation unit, with either a flat diffuse lens or a, a bigger oval uh, uplight diffuse lens. This is uh, will reduce the brightness of, of the direct view of the LEDs. So it, for aesthetic purposes, uh, you know, it's their different look, perhaps maybe for the front of the house spaces. Still very, very efficient, up to 129 lumens per watt for the flat and 137 lumens per watt for the, the uplight diffuse. Now the uplight, that, that gives about 14% uplight to uh, so for those applications where you want a little bit of brightness up on the ceiling to avoid that cave effect. Here's the ordering guide, very straightforward. The LBX family, you pick your lumen output up to 18,000 lumens for the eight foot version, 9,000 for a four foot. Next is your color temperature, then your, your voltage, and then come the options or accessories. So uh, pick your optics if you want one or, uh, or the uh, different uh, lens types after that, the FD for flat diffuse, the UD for uplight diffuse. Okay, I think that's it. Great, thank you very much, Chris. Uh, we did have a question come in. Will this be available in wet location soon? Wet location, interesting. No, we're not planning to have it available in wet location. I'd be, I'd be curious to know more about the, the application. Um, okay, I can send um, you the email address for the individual who asked that question, and maybe y'all can sure. take that offline and you can uh, learn about something we need to enter. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you, Chris. So we're going to move along to our next presenter, Shane. He will give us an update of our LED vintage style lamp. Hey, everyone. Um, hey, uh, Jessica, can you hear me clearly? I sure can. Okay, perfect. Uh, so my name is Shane DeLima. I'm in uh, the product marketing group for LED lamp. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, a new um, filament or vintage style LED lamp. Uh, it's an exciting uh, offering for us, and we hope you guys also uh, are excited about it. Um, so at this moment, we are ex uh, extending our decorative family uh, to include uh, the four lamps that you see on our screen. We have an A15, uh, an A19B, a string light, which is the FT19, and a candelabra lamp. Uh, if you notice, the A19, the FT19, and the BA11 uh, all have uh, an amber coating associated with it. Uh, that's a, it effectively kind of brings down the color temperature to about 2,000 Kelvin uh, so that you get that nice, warm, cozy feeling, kind of, uh, uh, which, you know, it's familiar to the, you know, the, like a high-end restaurant or establishments where you, uh, you have to have the lights dim, but you really uh, need that uh, filament look and feel. Uh, the A15 is a clear lamp, and uh, what we see uh, applications for that is uh, in uh, in uh, um, string lights, marquee signs, uh, 
you know, kind of outside pergolas as well uh, could use that lamp. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out in this in that slide there is that the candelabra is going to be launched in Q3 2016. We're just working on some finishing touches uh, with the base of the lamp. Um, the positioning of this lamp is uh, is uh, simple. Uh, as you you guys may know, we uh, you know in our in in our Philips LED lamp portfolio, uh, we really have two uh, generic tiers. One is kind of like the everyday the uh, value line. Uh, you know, a product that are non-energy star may not be dimmable, um, and uh, but we offer them at a low price uh, so that you don't have to depend on rebates. And then on on the performance side, uh, you know, we have we kind of do a feature up the include energy star, um, but uh, we have features such as the warm glow, instant fit, for example, as well as uh, now will we see the addition uh, into this uh, tier is the uh, the vintage line. Um, if you go to the next slide, uh, and if you further d uh, dive into that uh, performance portfolio, we have the decorative uh, decorative lamps where we feature our diamond spark uh, uh, lamps uh, that really feature that warm glow effect. Uh, uh, the, the vintage lamps will fall under this category. While some of the lamps dim, uh, keep in mind that they are not warm glow lamps just because of the, uh, you know, the differences in LEDs and also the uh, coating associated with the lamp. If you go to the next slide. Uh, from a positioning standpoint, you know, uh, uh, you know, you might get asked the question as to, hey, you have filament lamps, you have clear lamps, you know, uh, you know, how do you, uh, how do you know which, where to use what? And what I like to uh, I like to put this slide up here because you know uh, you know we can see the transition from incandescent to halogen to LED, and with the clear lamps, uh, you know it's it's more if you, you can think of it as more of a general purpose lamp. It will it looks good both in a shade in a shade you know a fixture up in the ceiling, but also by itself. Um, the vintage lamp is really uh, trying to bring out the familial look and feel, that nostalgic vintage look. Uh, and it's really uh, suited for, you know, the specialty applications, you know, small businesses, restaurants, hospitality, hotel lobbies that, you know, may have uh, these decorative lights or decorative fixtures, as well as, you know, maybe outdoor uh, 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 restaurants uh, where, you know, you have these string lights. Uh, so the idea is, like, you get that familial look and feel, uh, but with the benefits of, uh, um, uh, the energy saving uh, technology of LED. If you go on to the next slide, and one thing also to keep in mind is there's also, in addition to the general positioning, there's also a performance difference between the clear lamps and the filament. For one, uh, the clear lamps are energy star rated. Um, they do have a longer lifetime compared to the filament. Um, the, uh, also, the, uh, uh, the distribution, the light distribution of the lamp is uh, close to an omnidirectional distribution, so it does well in a fixture. Uh, the filament lamp is, you know, you have to enjoy those lamps, uh, you know, outside of a shade. You know, just looking at them uh, really uh, is, is really nice and, uh, you know, helps maintain the ambiance uh, of, um, of a facility or uh, a restaurant or a business. Um, the, the amber coating, actually, one thing that I like to point out is that it, um, it maintains it maintains that vintage look even in off state. So it doesn't look like an LED lamp. But, you know, LED lamps are so modern; they change over time. But this kind of keeps that familiar look. Let's go on to the next slide. And over here, you can uh, ha uh, get a quick snapshot of uh, uh, the products in the portfolio. I won't, I won't go through everything. We have definitely an E19B, you know, that has a little bump on top, the string light, the candelabra, and the E15. Um, you know, uh, different lumen packages uh, associated with them from 220 to 400 lumens. The few things that I want to point out is um, the ST, uh, the string light, the E19, and the E15 lamp are UL recreated. So they can be used in you know, outdoor applications, um, uh, like we discussed with the marquee sign, pergola lights, et cetera. The candle opera is not uh, uh, UL wet. And from a dimming standpoint, uh, 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 everything other than the, uh, the candle uh, is dimmable. So 
So uh, uh, just keep that in mind. And also the lifetime of all these products is about 15,000 hours. Um, and if you go on to the next slide, you know, looking at uh, just a competitive overview of uh, of a company that uh, that does a great job, uh, that also sells these lamps and uh, the Hamdia lamps everywhere, uh, you know, we try to really uh, go in and uh, kind of, you know, make sure that we have a better offering as far as uh, from a look and feel, but also from a performance standpoint. So um, we really reinvented uh, uh, the driver inside so that it's uh, a pretty much a driverless, auto, it looks like as if there's no LED driver in the lamp, but I assure you there is hidden in the, in the base. So, uh, you know, we, we don't have any of the, the white bases associated with the lamp. Um, you know, and also we, uh, with the candelabra lamp, we wanted to have uh, a nice uh, matching uh, base so that uh, we could uh, mimic maybe the fixture that it's placed in, but also make it look nice. So in the future, we can see extensions to the candle where it could have different colors, for example, a gold base or a brushed nickel base or uh, even a copper base, depending uh, on um, what we hear from, from the field. Um, uh, one of the other things that we uh, also receive feedback from some of our control partners, uh, not only within Philips, but also outside Philips, is that, uh, you know, uh, some of these vintage lamps don't perform well with dimming, and, and we see a lot of these lamps used with dimming systems, you know, when they dim down to get that ambience. So we tried to really uh, uh, improve our driver design to ensure that, uh, you know, there's less flicker when dimmed, and also definitely less noise. Um, I think this was appreciated by a lot of the control companies, and so we hope um, that you, our customers, will like it as well. If we go on to the next slide, so I, I try to capture a few FAQs for the product, and uh, uh, the one thing is, yeah, uh, you know, the question that we get asked is, are these lamps any stars uh, qualified? And at the moment, it's not, and it's mainly due to the lifetime. Um, but you know, the lifetime we can change over time, uh, we can improve over time. Uh, but also the CCT, uh, Energy Star doesn't, you know, have a 2000K uh, uh, in their specification. Um, uh, this, from a safety standpoint, you know, the products are UL certified, so you can be assured of their safety. And of course, there's the Philips design in the background. Um, and also certain models, like I mentioned, are UL wet. Um, the lamp is made of glass, so, you know, if it does break, you know, you can probably see the filaments light up, but we recommend you, you know, take off, uh, turn off the switch, take off the lamp, and replace that. Uh, another question you might get asked is, uh, you know, how the thermals manage, you know, because we have everything mounted vertically. And, um, yeah, as Philips, you know, we always look into, uh, uh, you know, uh, advancements in LED technology, and we try to use very uh, efficacious LEDs, if that's a real word, but that really means high lumens for what. And, you know, we fill the lamps up with nitrogen to help, uh, uh, to help with uh, the effect of thermal, thermal management. Um, product bulletins and dimming compatibility guides are available uh, right now at philips.com forward slash LED tech guide. There's one that says compatibility list for the product bulletins. You just click on the product bulletin, just wait for the page to load, and scroll the, all the way down to LED lamps. Um, and as far as pricing goes for this lamp, uh, uh, just uh, uh, the pricing is available, so I would suggest that you get with your Philips account manager uh, on pricing. And like I mentioned, the candelabra version will be available in Q3 2016. We're just perfecting uh, 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 the look and feel of our base on the plan. And and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Brittany J or myself. We're in product marketing, and Tim Ryder is in a product management. That's Great, it for me. Thanks. Thanks, Shane. There was one question that came in for you. In the future, will we have decorative style lamps that do not have white or silver bases that can be used in decorative chandeliers with exposed lamps? Uh, I, so at the moment, our R&D team is evaluating that to where we can have pretty much, you know, the picture that I showed with our E19 and a string light, having a, almost a sub-miniature driver uh, where we can really hide the base completely. So we are investigating that. It's just that uh, it, it, it's always a balancing act between cost um, and performance as well. Uh, so we are looking into that. Great. Thank you so much, Shane. 
So to wrap up, I've got a couple of marketing-related slides here. The first one I'm going to hit on is a program, or I'm sorry, a promotion that we have going on. I hope you have all heard about this because it's already been going for almost a month. It kicked off April 4th, and it's going through the end of June. We have a huge incentive. There is a price discount of up to 60% on a huge list of qualified products. That list does change, and you can get a copy of the updated list from your sales rep at any time. But you, you can get huge discounts, and then we offer an additional incentive on top of that. So if, for example, you place an order for over $10,000, you can get that, whatever that percentage discount is, plus an extra 4% discount if your order is in excess of 10 grand. If you order more than $10,000 and you're participating in the CoreLine stock program, you can get an additional 6% discount. So those are huge discounts that are available to you. Like I said, I hope you've heard about this. If you haven't, please reach out to your sales rep or I will display an email address in just a moment. You can get in touch with us directly, but we really encourage you to participate in this. Um, I'm sure there's something for everyone on this list. It's extensive. Um, it's very easy to participate. We ask that you send a standalone order into the email address on your screen and that information along with everything else pertaining to this promo is on a flyer that your sales rep can send you. So uh, don't worry about jotting that down or keeping up with it. You can find it on the flyer. It's called the Get More Promo. So the Get More Spring for, uh, Get More for Your Money Spring Promotion. And then one last thing that I want to ask you to do is to please mark your PO with the promo code Get More. When you do that, it allows us to more quickly um, handle and uh, make all of these orders just in-house. It goes a lot smoother. It allows us to process your order and get your discounts to you very, very quickly. So that's just something that we really ask you to help us out with because we want to get you your, your discounts because you earned them. Uh, and then you instantly receive savings. So it's very, very easy. Reach out to your Phillips sales rep or to us at the email address on screen, which is phillipslightingus1 at phillips.com. And just FYI, that's kind of our catch-all email for the trade marketing team. It's where we ask you to send any inquiries about any of our webinars or anything like that. We can address them ourselves or we will get them in the hands of the right product member or product management, product marketing, whoever it may be. Um, need to go to. And the last slide is on the Lighting Application Center. This is our Lighting Application Center in Somerset, and we have workshops all year round at our uh, corporate office. We have some that would be more relevant to you than others. There are courses that you may not have any interest in, but there may be some that are exactly up your alley, exactly what you're interested in. Anytime you want to learn about any of the courses and see our course schedule, I encourage you to go to the website on screen here phillips.com slash lighting slash education. There you can go download a course schedule. You can find out more about any of the classes that we're offering. One thing that we do is we mention who would be a good candidate for this workshop. So that is very helpful. I found that to be helpful for myself, actually. So it will actually tell you if you're new to the industry or if you have five or more years or if you are involved in uh, this area of the business versus the other, which courses are better for you. So take advantage of that. Go visit that site when you get a chance. A couple of the summer workshops that are coming up that will pertain to some of you on the line now. In June, we've got the Lighting Systems Workshop. That's a good one if you're on the system side of things. In July, we have Lighting Fundamentals. I actually took that workshop or that course when I joined Phillips, and it's very helpful very good as a refresher for anyone in the industry, but it's great for those who are new to the industry who really just want a big overall picture of it, of the, the whole uh, luminaires and lamp systems, everything. It's just a really good, I believe that one's three days, so uh, consider that. And then in August, we have the Lighting Applications Workshop. So if you're more interested on the application side of things, that might be perfect for you. We do have two ladies that handle our Lighting Application Center, and you can reach out to them at Lighting Application Center 1 at phillips.com, and Jill or Yolanda will answer any questions you have, and they can even help you figure out which ones would be better for you or your staff or uh, just bring you a wealth of information about what we have going on in our Lighting Application Center. So with that, I will thank you for your time today. There were no questions that came in, so now you're off the hook. A copy of this recording will be emailed to you very soon, so feel free to share it within your organization and reach out to us with any questions you have, and have a great day. Thank you for your support of Phillips Lighting.